Hey, it's Chris here, and I want to take a few minutes and just show you how you can start actually getting really, really targeted traffic and leads with your Bing Ads uh, campaign. So I'm going to show you some of my campaigns right now. Let me zoom in. You can just kind of get a feel with what I'm working with here. But uh, um, I've been targeting, uh, you know, basically when you're when you're in PPC, you're got to decide, you know, what your audience is. So I actually started promoting the uh, the PPC course itself through being PPC, right? And uh, I mean, this is it right here. Basically, I have a couple different campaigns running. Um, I'm bidding a little bit more per click on here because I am targeting some uh, some larger keywords like affiliate marketing. But if you look at most of my campaigns, you know, I'm paying six cents, three cents, six cents, eleven cents, four cents per click. So I mean, my average cost per click usually comes out to be under 10 cents per click, unless I'm targeting something a little bit differently, or I'm trying to, uh, you know, achieve something a little bit differently, then I'll bid higher on my clicks. But overall, my cost per click is very low, considering that I'm only filtering tier one traffic. But what's even more um, amazing is if I go over here and just look at the leads that I've been getting through Bing, I mean, this, this is, you know, this is for March 20th. I can scroll down, there's more, but for March 20th uh, up until now you know you can see where today kind of started um, you can see that leads are basically coming through so my cost per lead which is uh, how much I'm actually paying per lead is a lot less than a dollar per lead I think I figured it out I'm paying maybe about 25 to 30 cents per lead all tier one traffic and what's really cool is that I'm actually making sales in the process I'm actually making um, you know I'm actually making money every time someone obviously purchases the course and then these people are going through the follow-up series. So how do I do that, right? You have to understand who you're targeting in your market. So let's talk a little bit about psychology just for a minute. So maybe this will make sense. Let's talk about pre-selling with PPC. Now, if you're a marketer, um, <laughs> let's just put it this way. If you're in, in internet marketing, you're, you're doing any type of marketing, you're not going to be very likely, like this is one of my uh, opt-in pages that I use for, for solo ad traffic, you're not going to really opt into a page like this. If you're, uh, you know, if you're just looking for a way to make a quick buck online, you may opt into this page, but if you're actually, um, you know, a more advanced marketer, which is who I'm trying to target right now through PPC, I'm trying to target people that are already in ClickBank, I'm targeting people that are in an MLM or network marketing, there's a different mindset between the person looking to make money online versus the person already in a business. Well, a person already in a business doesn't just go around opting into a bunch of pages. I mean, sure, there's the exceptional few that do, but ask yourself, if you're in a, you know, if you're in a more advanced marketing online, are you going to opt into a page? Or if you come to a page for this video, now keep in mind this video automatically starts playing, and you know, if this headline captivates you, like, okay, five cent clicks with Bing for any niche, plus how to get over 500% ROI with any campaign, CPA, ClickBank, or affiliate products, you know, that's going to catch your attention. You don't have to opt in to anything, but this video starts auto-playing. And after you're done watching the video, you now know what the product is, you know what the training entails, and guess what? So what I do, this is how I've been getting all of these leads, right here is what I do is when they come back over to this page and they click here, yes, I'm ready to get started, you know, most likely they watch the majority of the video if they're clicking this button or they probably watch the whole video. They're going to click on this and then there we go. Now I'm asking for their information. So I don't ask for their information first when I'm targeting a certain group of people. Instead, you want to provide the value up front. So the key here is when you're targeting other marketers or if you're targeting people that are already, already doing this, add the value first, show them how the product works gather their interest because now that I have their interest, they're going to want to proceed. There's nothing, you know, there's there's no way that they're not going to proceed to the next page if they watch the whole video. You know, they're not going to be so turned off by a page. Now, what if I did this backwards? What if I had them opt in here first? They read this little bit of text, they click here now, and then they're, you know, then they're asked off. And well, you know, they're probably going to be a little thrown off. They're just going to think that I'm just another marketer out there to, you know, to gather someone's email address to, to send them a bunch of emails. That's what a lot of people, um, yeah, you know, that's what the mindset of a lot of people are. But when you add the video first, which is what I call pre-selling, because you're pre-selling the offer, you're framing the offer, however you want to call it. Uh, then when they get on the list, not only are they more responsive because they did take the action opt-in, they're more likely to buy. And, uh, you know, if you're targeting people that are more advanced in the marketing, they're more likely to, um, you know, they're more likely to take action and uh, be more of a valuable customer to you than someone who just puts 
send their email address. Now, I'm not saying that this method doesn't work. I'm just saying it depends on the audience that you're targeting. So pre-selling is very effective, and that's the way that I do it. I just basically set up a page here in Lead Pages. Um, I put a video that auto plays in there uh, just through YouTube or Google Hangouts, basically the same thing. But uh, And then you want to put a headline that's going to attract your audience. And so that's exactly how I'm building a list um, of affiliate marketers. You know, add the video first. So hopefully that makes sense and that helps. Let's talk about keyword research. Okay, I'm kind of going to do two parts to this video. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm using espionage. Hopefully I'm saying that right, espionage. I sp <laughs> Anyways, this is a keyword research tool that I recommend. Uh, if you are going to get serious about PPC, you probably do want to get espionage, or there's also spy a few. I'm personally using espionage. I'm logged into my account right here, so um, if you go to the site yourself, you'll be able to use the free version. And the free version, you can do up to 10, uh, 10 searches a month with limited, uh, you know, limited results and display and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do... Let me zoom in and show you is I want to totally show you the right way to set up your campaigns. So let's talk about what you're targeting. So if you're targeting a make money online campaign, I'm going to go and type in make money online because that's what users search when they want to make money online. And, uh, you know, there's little autocomplete things, but I'm going to type in make money online. Just leave it at US and click search. Now, I want to show you some tips. I want to give you some tips so that you understand. So this is the data that loads. Very important data because, first of all, it's showing you Google because this works for Google AdWords as well, and there's Bing and Yahoo. Well, we want to go over to Bing and Yahoo, obviously, because that's what network we're working in. Now, this is very important. The day seen is very, very, very important to your campaigns. So, as you can see here, they are ranked from 1 to 10. Obviously, 1 is, is the best, um, but if you're looking here, you wouldn't want to copy these guys, the campaigns of 10, 9, 8, or 7. Now, not just because they're down here, but if you look where it says day seen, they all have a 1, which means that their ad isn't showing up on Bing very much. So they're not, uh, you know, they're not very effective at what they're doing, um, you know, keyword-wise. So the higher the number here, the better. This could also mean, now this could mean a number of things. It can mean their ad's not showing up very much, or these could be new advertisers that are just indexed by espionage. So a couple of things. And usually with new advertisers, we don't know if they're experienced in PPC, so we don't want to copy. We don't want to copy, you know, you've probably heard the saying when you're trying to copy that, you want to make sure you're copying the right cat. So if you're going to be a copycat, make sure you copy the right cat. You don't want to just uh, go in here and... Uh, go after someone who's only been seen in the network for one day because they're either new or their ad's not showing up very frequently. So any of these sites are good. You have ask.com, ABC Fundraising, your Avon.com, workingmother.com, and that's really great. So the thing is you want to pick a site that matches an offer that you're going to pick because you're going to be able to duplicate this. So I'm going to go with just number three here, and I'll make a new tab. And I just want to look at the site and decide, okay, is this something that I can do? We don't know what this site is about yet. All right, make money. So it's like a survey site. It seems like survey sites are really quite popular um, when it comes to PPC marketing. And actually paid survey sites convert really well with, with make money online keywords. So depending on what you're promoting. But uh, that's basically a survey site. So if you're, if you're promoting a survey site, you may want to just take a peek. Let's go here, take a peek at some of their keywords. And as you can see, they're using a total of 61,000 keywords, 442 ads. Once again, let's make sure we're in the Bing slash Yahoo data. Go over here to PPC keywords. Okay, it likes to default this to Google, but we're going to go to Bing. So in Bing and Yahoo, this is important to know, they're using 34,550 keywords. Google, they're using 55,000, but that's not too relevant for us because we're competing within Bing and Yahoo. So what I can do is I can literally copy 34, excuse me, 34,000 keywords and upload them to Bing. Well, if you're going to upload that many keywords, you're going to want to use the Bing, uh, the Bing Ads uh, Editor tool so you can add multiple keywords once. Otherwise, you won't be able to just upload 34,000 keywords in one shot. You know, that's not going to work too well. You're going to have to get the keyword, um, the, the Bing's keyword tool. In fact, I have it right here. Let me uh, show you. Bing Ads Editor. All right, and I'm going to load that up here. And then you can download the Bing Ads Editor for free. I'm going to show you how to do that too right now. You're going to be able to download the Bing Ads Editor. Let me go over here and show you how you grab it. If you go over to Tools, I believe it's under, and there it is, Bing Ads Editor. You just go there, and you can download it for free. And it's pretty easy to use, and you can upload thousands of keywords at once. I usually do about 
fly, uh, about 5,000 at a time. I'm not sure if I can do a whole 37,000 in one shot, but I do about 5,000 at a time if I'm uploading a ton of keywords. So that's going to be very helpful to you without uh, without freezing your computer, and you're obviously limited with the web version of Bing. So what does all of this mean? You got KEI, uh, CPC. So KEI is Keyword Effectiveness Index, basically how effective the keyword is on a scale from 1 to 100. So the higher the number, the better. So this keyword effectiveness is 97.23. The keyword that it's linked to is Ways to Make Money Online. So this is a very effective keyword. Now, if you see a number that only has like a you know, like a 10 in the KEI index, that's really low. It's not going to be very effective. So keyword effectiveness is pretty important. That's something that I look at. Um, ads basically means the number of ads that this keyword is, uh, you know, is showing up for. So you can actually click in and look at the data by clicking in here. Um, and then there's the search volume. All right, that shows you the search volume, obviously the higher number. It goes off of monthly basis, the average position, day seen. So that's very important. All this data means a lot to us, especially when you're in PPC, because remember, the more that the ad is uh, you know, seen, then that means that uh, that means that you have a very relevant campaign because this says it was first seen 2 16 of 2014, last seen 2 20 of 2015. So that means the ad showed up in the network today. So very, very, uh, very, very relevant information. So usually when I narrow the results, I like to do keyword effectiveness. I want to make sure that the keyword effectiveness is greater than 10. So we want to make sure that it is greater than 10 at least, right? Um, cost per click. Well, I usually like to make sure that the cost per click is, uh, is less than 0. Point, let's just say 0. 0.20. Same with search volume here. I want to make sure the search volume here, um, you know, you want to at least ha be hitting searches that are more than, uh, well, let's see, search volume. I usually leave the search volume blank because sometimes this data is not accurate, even in Bing. So leave the search volume blank. Average position, not too important. Day scene, not too important. And then that's usually how I filter is I want to make sure that I'm filtering a cost per click that is less than, um, less than 20 cents. Okay, keyword effectiveness that is greater than, and we'll update. Okay, so that's going to filter out some keywords for me. Still going to have a lot, and then I'm going to export that data, and that's pretty much it. I'll probably be, um, I'll probably be uh, left with a ton of data. In fact, I'll open it right now just to see how many keywords we get filtering that. So you can filter out, you know, different, uh, different reports like that. So let me just uh, pull it up here and go ahead and open it. And you can do this with SpyFU as well. I'm just using Espionage. That's what I like, um, the full version here. And even if you're using the free version, I can. I found that the free version is very useful uh, as well because you can see that most competitors are using thousands and thousands and thousands of keywords and a lot of ads too, linking to different internal pages. But when you go to the Ads tab, you can actually, once again, it defaults you to Google. Make sure you go to Bing slash Yahoo you can see what the most effective ad is. So their most effective ad is make money now, $40 a day. Uh, it's very effective. Once again, 97.2 here for effectiveness. And the keyword that it shows up for is I need to make some money now. And that's where the, the keyword shows up in. So that's really awesome. They have really good results here, make money fast. So there's make money now, make money fast, and they're using the $40 a day. So you can basically copy or create you know, similar... Uh, similar ad copies to that. Okay, so let's pull up the keywords just to take a look and see what I came up with. Yeah, we have a, a ton of keywords here. Just by doing that, it looks like probably close to 20,000 keywords, so maybe not. Yeah, but we have a lot. There we go. So we're at 18,287 keywords. So that's really great. And we'll be able to bid, you know, probably about seven or eight cents on all these keywords as a group. And then just go through and then create a bunch of different ad copies that are, of course, relevant to the site. The whole idea here is you have to realize what your audience is. So for a campaign that I did recently, you may want to type in network marketing because if you're trying to target people that are in network marketing, there's a great thing. There's a difference between um, targeting people in make money online versus targeting people in network marketing. See, when you're targeting people that type in make money online, you may be getting just new people that are just curious that want to learn how to make money online. They pro they may not have even done a network marketing business before, but when you start targeting keywords like uh, you know network marketing, you're now targeting people that 
are going to actually spend money because anyone who types in network marketing knows that it costs money to you know to get into the business whether it be twenty five dollars a hundred dollars so you're going to actually attract more buyers by targeting keywords like network marketing you can target keywords like empower network I'm just gonna give you a bunch of examples in uh, empower network um, you can target Mobi you can target MTTB uh, and you can even get so specific to where you're targeting a list of MLM companies um, you can target a list of MLM leaders and uh, things like that and once you start targeting those types of people that's where you really start to get into the buyers where you're gonna get to the people that regularly spend money on affiliate products etc so another keyword I use of course is affiliate marketing search and then you can see who your top competitors are in being in Yahoo once again average JC's online these are all good so they're all over than one but uh, there's quite a few you can see there's ODAS Clickbank um, business.com get ambassador wealthy affiliate so there's a lot and you can see how many keywords that these guys are using ODAS you know 38,000 look at that business so a lot of the you know a lot of keywords you don't really see you don't really see too many people targeting less than a thousand keywords. I mean, it's rare and it happens, you know, like these guys are targeting 71 or 703, but most people do target over a thousand keywords because the more keywords, the better. So another thing you can do, you know, just, uh, just play with different keywords here in the tool and go to Bing and Yahoo, find out which site. The thing is, the first thing you have to do is figure out which site is most relevant to what you're promoting. So obviously if you were to look at the site here, we'll go ahead and just copy and paste it over to a new tab. I want to take a look at this. Now, Cake is basically an affiliate marketing platform, but uh, can take a look at this. Okay, so this is basically what this is. So it's more of a more of a platform for affiliates to put their products on. So a lot of different things here. You have to figure out, okay, which one matches me. Do I need to do I need to focus on something else for your keywords? Because I notice with Make Money Online that uh, you know mostly survey sites are actually popping up for Make Money Online. You see a lot of survey sites. So there's a lot of different ways to target your audience. You just have to understand who is searching, why are they searching. You have to understand you know who, the why, and what are they searching for? What are they trying to get? What are they trying to accomplish by searching for affiliate marketing? Like I said. Um, I've, I've quickly learned that you know targeting just make money online by itself is not as effective as targeting keywords like affiliate marketing or targeting specific companies as your keywords. So I learned that once you start uh, targeting um, those those keywords around that niche, where you, when you really start getting specific, the more specific you get, the better. So I have better you know better results targeting people who are searching ClickBank, and I have better results targeting people that are you know searching affiliate marketing versus just make money online so you may find that too the thing is you don't always want to go for the most obvious keyword in every single uh, you know in every single case so I think the keyword tool is going to help you a lot um, you know some campaigns I have upwards to 10 15 thousand keywords per campaign and it allows me to do a lot of tweaking a lot of adjustments but it's going to save you a lot of time if you first can kind of piggyback and pick a site that matches you most um, most relevantly. And so in this case, if you were promoting, I'd say, affiliate marketing product, you'd probably want to check out ClickBank's keywords, right? Because ClickBank's pretty high up there. Um, and then maybe Wealthy Affiliate. But, you know, I haven't really heard of these other sites so much. You may just want to check them out to see if they're even relevant to what you're doing. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. and. See you in the next video.